Okay, let's continue with uh, our Microsoft Office lessons. We have Microsoft Excel. Our lesson one is to start Microsoft Excel. Then we look at Excel screen and also saving a workbook. So basically you just go to search here. You type Excel, you type Excel. Then I will use Office 2010. So I open Excel, this is Excel. Excel usually uh, is different from Microsoft Word. You can see it is made up of boxes. These boxes are called cells. We call them uh, cells. These are the cells, and this is where we insert data. On the other hand, uh, we have home, uh, where we have font, we have alignment, then we have number, style, cells, etc. We also have the insert, where you can insert picture, clip art, shapes, uh, charts, and other things. Also, we have now page layout, just like in Microsoft Word in our previous video, where we have, you can set a page to landscape, portrait. You can also adjust the margins. You can also change the, uh, the page size to A4 in case it is not set to A4. We also have formulas tab, where we have various formulas. We have data tab, where we can manipulate a lot of uh, stuff, where we can do a, a sorting, filtering, etc. So basically, you can also run spell checking in Excel, just like uh, we did in Microsoft Word. And um, the next thing to note is that um, this is a whole book. This is a whole book. We, uh, you can add a number of sheets here. You can see you have sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, sheet four. This, this is like a, an exercise book with various, uh, with various uh, books. So um, uh, you can see uh, that one. So the next thing, after now having this, is you need also to know how to rename this one. You just double click, like for example, you can call this one term one. You then double click, then type term two. Then double click, you double click until it's broken, then term three. Let's say term three. So that is also another way of noticing that if this is like book one, this is book two, this is book, uh, not really book, sorry, this is page one, page two, page three, page four. Then basically the other thing is that if you look at this one, this one are labeled A, B, C, D, E, all the way. These ones are labeled 1, 2, 3. Therefore, these are called the column headers. These ones are called the row headers. These 1, 2, 3 are row headers, whereas this one are column headers. And to select a column, you see now you go to the column header and click, whereas to select a row, you just click on uh, click on um, uh, on that one. So basically, that's how that one. Uh... Now let's proceed to lesson number two. Lesson number two, we shall be looking at entering data in Microsoft Excel worksheets. So uh, to enter data, you first of all need to note a number of things like um, if for instance I'm typing the admission number admission number then we have then uh, the student name student name uh, student name you notice that student name has gone up to C so I need to double click here you see here I double click you see this one has been enriched to fit this so you just double click on the border when you see that plus sign then, for example, we have uh, we have class, we have uh, something like um, mm, remarks, something of the sort. Uh, like for example, we, for example, we may have fees uh, payable. We may we might have fees paid so that we can calculate the balance and then put the remarks that way. So you see, you just need to double click here. Uh, double click here there that one is fixed then on the other hand you, you did you need to note, to note that these are imaginary lines so we must put something called a border you highlight 
you highlight by holding down the mouse. Then, when you are in Home tab, there is this window, just adjacent from BIU here. Therefore, I just click on All Borders. You see now, I have put a border. It's like I've created a table. Then, on the other hand, I might need to insert a column above this to have the heading. So, I right click on that, then I click on Insert. You see, I have inserted a row above this. And I need to type a title here. A title. So I highlight all this up to where I want the title to go. Then I click on this button, Match and Center. You see now this one becomes one. In that, I can now type that um, Majimatamu uh, High School, Kirifi County. You see, now my heading is center. In that, I can assign a, a car, I can assign board, uh, that that will be, uh, will affect the whole thing. So that one is how now you deal with the merge and center. On the other hand, to insert numbers, you can insert 520, 526, 544, 650, 850, 740, 1000, Rough 30 and let's say 560. Sorry, let's say this 960. These are the admission numbers. And from there, you can now just type just uh, by clicking on that. Uh, we have Janet JB. You can have Don Gichai. You can have Ari Roba. You can have Abdi. Abdi. And you can have Abdi Karim, you have something like Joshua, Joshua Irungu. Now, in case you had gone to another cell and you want to do adjustment, you just double click. Like here, just double click and add something, you see? So you just double click. Alternatively, you go, if you are here, you go up here. This is called the formula bar. You can add here. If you add here, it automatically adds to the cell. You see now here it has added. Uh, Abdi Karim, let's say Muhammad, uh, Moha, Mohammed. You see, whatever you add is added here. But still this is Raja, so I can double click. Once I double click here, you see now that one is accommodated. So we can also have uh, another guy, Agatha, Jonas. Let's delete this, I right, right click here, then delete. That's also another reason. So you can have to W, to C, to X, to C, to W. Those are the classes. Let's say if his pair boy is the same. So if this is the same, you click at the end, you see, until cursor turns into a brack. This is called out of here. Then you drag. In case you want something that is equivalent and you don't want to get tired typing. But this one will, will vary since apparent might pay. Uh, apparent. For this case, in case you mess this way, you just undo. Just like we did in the word, undo. It takes you back to where you are. So that way. So these are the fees paid. Then, uh, uh, for example, again, in case I need to format this one, can highlight, then go to board up here. This ones you can change the font size. Just go to here to Caribri, just like we did Microsoft Word. Then you can see you can now change. You can change font sizes uh, accordingly to how you wish it to uh, to be. So basically, this is how you insert data in Microsoft uh, Excel. In our lesson number three, in our lesson number three, we shall look at arrangement, uh, renaming of worksheet, adjusting column width and row height, borders, though these ones we have already uh, gone through. Uh, this one, renaming the worksheet, I have shown you how that one is done. Also, adjusting column width and row height, and also putting borders. Then, this time round, I will show you how to set data types, e.g. currency, inserting columns and rows, 
headers and footers and background. So we go back to our work. We start uh, by inserting a background. So to insert a background, you go to page layout, then background, and you hit on background. Like background is a picture. So you can just insert a background of this chicken. See now that one goes to the background. So though sometimes it's not, it may not be so attractive. So I can hit on delete. But in case you need to insert a background in the future, that's how you go about it. You just uh, uh, choose a, a picture like that, and then you just assign it there. Therefore, you can also like this one. This one is more attractive, but still our work is not so much vivid. But in case you want to insert a background, that's how uh, you go about it. On the other hand, uh, we can also uh, do alignment. Alignment means, just like in Microsoft Word, if you look at this one, this is right aligned, and I need it to be center. So just go home, then go to the alignment tab here. I click on center. You see that one becomes center. So I need everything mine to be center. So I highlight. I click on center. That's what we call alignment. Therefore, it's just placing your text where it is supposed to be uh, uh, placed. Then uh, when you want to adjust the row height, like this one, you can. This one I want it to be. be I can just see now there is height there so I can increase the font size I can do that with the purpose of increasing the font size of the title so I have adjusted the the row height but for the column height you just do this you see you just pull this one or double click that way see this is now adjusting the column width that, that is the manual way of doing it, and it is the safest way of uh, doing that. For renaming the worksheet, now I want to name this one to Maji Matam. You just double click, uh, then type Maji Matam. See, that is now how to rename the, the worksheet. Therefore, basically, uh, those, are the, those are the stuff that you are supposed to uh, really know that um, in case you want to do something, you can do A, B, C, D on that. So to undo, if your data goes lost, you just hit on undo or redo, depending uh, on the circumstance. Then uh, let's do a bit of formatting, whereby we shall assign this currency, this, these numbers to currency. So you can never achieve anything without highlighting in Excel and Microsoft Word even in publisher. So I highlight this, and remember, you don't highlight the alphanumerics or text. You just highlight the numbers. Then you go to home. Once you go home, go all the way to numbers here. Go to numbers where you see general. Here, you see we have accounting here. Therefore, you need to come to this point and hit on this. You can double click this or opt to use here, click the dollar sign there, then you just go to more accounting, it will, it will launch a dialog box. So this dialog box will help you to choose the symbol. Right now, I want to choose Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings, therefore it's here, cash. Then it becomes now, this is how it will look, right? Then if you need more decimal places, rest decimal places, then down here, just click on OK. There we are. You see now I have been in a position to assign currency symbols to my, uh, to my, that is to my work. In that, now I can see this is Kenya shillings here, assigned here. You can also assign dollar sign, like by going to this point here, and then you just click on English dollar. It will automatically put the dollar sign for you, like that. So that's how you set the currency. Uh, for that case. Then you can also need to assign headers and footers. Just go to insert. Just go all the way to headers and footers. Yeah. Therefore, uh, Excel will allow you to type the header. The header here, this is uh, Majimatam. Majimatam uh, High School. High School. Then, you can go to footer here. 
when you are still here switch to footer it takes you down to the footer just say this is my footer that way then after doing that you just need to uh, click anywhere inside this anywhere inside this and then that one is done you just click you see now i have the header and i have the footer somewhere so when i go to print my work i've been in a position to see my header and uh, my footer so basically uh, that's how you achieve the, that one in lesson two later on i will show you why this one was cut it is because the page was too wide to accommodate this therefore later on at the end of the lesson i'll show you how to print so i'll take you through how to uh, do that one